How to trim lavender. Lavender is an herb in the mint family that produces small purple flowers and thick, aromatic foliage. Lavender grows best in sunny areas in rocky soil and forms into shrubs that come back each year. They grow thicker with each passing season and can become woody with thick, heavy branches. When trimmed properly, lavender shrubs respond by producing loads of fragrant flowers, several times each season. Trimming during the growing season. Wait until the second year to trim a lavender shrub. Lavender takes a few years to get fully established. The first year you plant it, it may only produce a few stalks of flowers. In subsequent years, it will produce an ever larger bush of flowers. The first time you trim lavender, during its second year of growth, you may only get a handful of stalks. By year three or four, you should have five to eight bunches of lavender you can use to dry and use or display. wh.performance.mark step one underscore rendered. Trim lavender right when the flowers open. Lavender is at its most fragrant right when the flower buds open. This should happen in late spring or early summer. Trim lavender in the afternoon, when the essential oils are strongest. You can wait a few weeks after the flower buds open to enjoy them in your garden, but by the time you trim them, the oils won't be as strong. If you're using the lavender to make essential oil, it's better to trim them early. Use a very clean set of pruning shears. Use a hand pruner or shears that have been washed clean of dirt and disinfected in a bleach solution. Taking this precaution will help ensure that the plant doesn't pick up a bacterial disease. You should also make sure the shears are very sharp, so that they make a clean cut that will heal over quickly. Avoid using craft scissors to trim lavender. They don't make a clean enough cut. Bypass pruners are your best option. These are spring-loaded with two curved blades. Gather the stalks and trim the shrub back by a third. Use one hand to gather together enough stalks to make a fistful, then trim the stems with the shears. Trim them back so that one third of the length of the stems is left on the shrub. If your shrub is on the older side, you'll likely have to cut more than one bunch. Don't cut into the woody part of the shrub. Make sure to leave all of the wood intact, since cutting it could injure the plant. Trim again when the second flush of flowers opens. Later in the summer, the shrub will produce another flush of flowers. You can trim these the same way you trimmed the first flush, cutting the stalks by the fistful. 